Hey friends, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Shadavia and this is Oshi Budgets where we talk about all things money, budgeting, and savings related. So if you enjoy budgeting content like budget with me, cash stuffings, savings challenges, and even paying off debt, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Now, I do upload every Tuesday and Thursday, so that's twice a week, and you don't wanna miss out on any future uploads. So make sure you go ahead and turn on the notification bell as well, like I stated before. But as we can see, um, today's video is going to be my transfer Tuesday, and I apologize about the lighting because today I don't have my lamp. I actually have my um, window bringing in some natural light, but it is kind of cloudy here in Texas because it's been raining. So it's not as bright as it usually is. Um, but as you guys can see as well, I have a little plant that I found. Um, it's like a little fox plant at... Um, that I got from Walmart and it was about $3 in their little, um, I guess, I don't know, like dollar section. I feel like they're trying to get like Target with their little dollar section. Um, but I thought it was really cute and I was like, huh, I'm gonna try this one in my next video. Um, and then if not, then I'll just put it on my daughter's shelf um, that she has in her room. Um, so, you know, it doesn't go to waste completely. It was about $3, but again, I thought it was like super cute. Um, but anyways, today's video is my transfer Tuesday, and so every other Tuesday, I am going to be making um, transfers towards my financial goals. So if you're new to my channel, the first financial goal that I am um, starting with with these transfers is my starter emergency fund. So for the last few weeks, I've been, you know, any throwing any type of extra income that I have towards you know, building up a starter emergency fund just so I can feel comfortable, you know, in the case of emergency, and then I can move on to some other financial goals. So I'll continue to do my transfer Tuesdays, uh, but my, some of my financial goals will change. So uh, at the top here, I'm going to list any type of extra income that I was able to earn or set aside um, to go towards these transfers. And then I'll go through some of the numbers where I'm starting. Um, the amount that I'm able to transfer and then in the balance and if there is anything left to save. So for starters, um, this week, today is August the 23rd. And so the first income that I have, um, I'm just going to put resale. So I um, had some old shoes that my daughter the baby um, can no longer fit. And I feel like a lot of my baby clothes or baby items are what sell the most for me. Um, so she had a lot of shoes that no longer fit her. And so I took them to the place, a place that we have here in Texas to um, resell those. And from those shoes, I was able to make $28.25. Um, this week. And again, that's gonna go strictly towards um, this starter emergency fund. The second income that I had for this transfer is coming from um, surveys. And so um, if you guys are new to my channel, I do um, an app called Surveys On The Go. And um, once you reach, I believe it's $10. I can't, now I can't even remember because I'm, past that amount um but i think believe it's ten dollars once you reach that ten dollar threshold then you're able to um cash out and so uh this um this the amount that i have this week are it's coming from surveys on the go and then i also have this google rewards on my phone and so periodically i'll get like little small surveys as well um and they'll just ask me like simple questions like you know, did you visit here? When did you visit? Did you use a debit card or credit card? Or did you not enter the store? Like, <clears throat> and you, I think you have to have your location on for them to pick up, you know, obviously where you've gone. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I do have that on my phone. Um, and so for this week, for those two surveys together, I cashed out at $20 and... 85 cents 
and that is actually the most that i've been able to cash out with surveys i think for this week um, I did get about a $12 surveys on surveys on the go when I was at Walmart. And so that really kind of helped boost the total amount that I was able to cash out. So about $18 of this came from the surveys on the go app. And then the other um, $2, I guess, came from those Google surveys. So that Google surveys or Google rewards, um, that one automatically sends the payout, you know, to you once you hit um, $2. So... As you guys can see, those little amounts definitely add up. So that was $20.85 for my surveys. And then I did have one um, additional income that I am going to be noting for this transfer. So this one is my way to save. Um, so I currently have a uh, account with Wells Fargo. Um, and they have this thing called way to save and I didn't know what it was at first. Um, it's a savings account, but anytime you, I guess anytime you use your debit card, then they automatically transfer like a dollar or maybe two. I think, um, sometimes it just depends. I don't really fully know how they actually calculate, like how much they're going to send over, but it is something that's set up. And so, um, I guess whenever I use my debit card, you know, they put money aside for me, um, like a dollar, like a dollar at a time. I think I even seen it one time where there was like two dollars. So I don't know how they differentiate, you know, how much is going um, once again. But for this week, I did have some funds that were transferred over. And I guess you can say those funds already belong to me. Um, so it was just a way for them to help me save this money. Um, so this week I am, um, going to be transferring those back to, it was $22, um, that transferred over and I'm just going to be transferring it back so that I can put it towards my emergency starter emergency fund. So the total amount that we're going to be, um, that we get from our extra income this week is 2820 plus 20. 85 plus 22 so $71.05 and you guys look at that like I just have three additional ways that I've earned like extra income this past two weeks and that's $71 and I feel like that is absolutely amazing um, because this just shows you guys that a little bit really does go a long way so um now we have $71.05 that's coming from this extra income. Again, not from my paycheck or anything else um, that I have set aside. And so my starter goal for my emergency fund is $1,500. So I'll put that there. So $1,500. And this week we are starting um, with a balance of $1,370. And so this um this was the amount that we I guess reached on my last transfer Tuesday. So if you haven't been following my transfer Tuesday journey, I do have a playlist as well uh, that you guys can see, you know, how long or how much I'm able to transfer each time. I feel like, you know, I've been moving along quite fast with these transfers with this um first goal so 1370 is where we're going to be starting with and that put us to about 91.3 percent done um today we're going to do a transfer of just 71 dollars because i didn't put any money aside in my from my paycheck or anything like that or i didn't have any extra income that came in um so i don't want to like round it up or anything like that um, so I'm just going to take the $71 and put it towards this goal. So we got $13.70 plus $71. So then our ending balance is going to be $1,441. And let's see, times 100. So that then puts us up to 96.5 zero seven percent so almost um well a little under like a five percent jump um so we still have some funds left to go to be able to reach my goal amount of that fifteen hundred dollars 
So the amount that's gonna be left to save is $59, y'all. And I do get paid this Friday. So, well, the goal, my goal is to get about ten dollars doing another app that i have this week and then hopefully i'll be able to take the rest of it for my paycheck because my goal was to have this fully funded by the end of august so if you guys have any suggestions on how i can make this last 59 dollars or you know 59 dollars plus um then go ahead and drop them in the comments let me know like i said my goal is to have this fully funded for, by the end of August so that I can start working on my next financial goal. Um, but again, you guys, that is it for today's video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, don't forget the notification bell. Leave your comments. I love reading them. I love interacting with you guys. And yeah, I, I'll be looking forward to you guys' suggestions on how I can go ahead and reach this financial goal. But thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.